Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Debbie and today I have a review on a new foundation that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. I completely forgot that I had this foundation and I was super excited when I picked it up but completely forgot about it. So today is the day that I am going to try it and review it and that foundation is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. So this foundation was pretty easy for me to decide what found um, what shade I was going to choose out of all the foundations and I'm gonna explain why so as you go I bought this on Ulta at Ulta uh, but I researched everything on the Ulta website so as soon as you obviously look up the foundation you go to the bottom it gives you all the color selections so I went to basically I usually go towards the middle because that's just my shades so I go towards the middle and I look to see first which one looks pretty close to me not gray not pink you know so I did click on medium buff medium buff also says the undertone so it's a beige with gold uh, with golden warm undertones um, to be honest looking at the foundation just online um, it does look a little bit peachy to me um, pink, peachy, whatever, salmon -y. Um, and I mean, yes, pictures online can be deceiving from when you pick it up in store, but sometimes they are pretty accurate. So then I went on to the second one. The second one was like, um, what is this? This is a beige with medium beige with yellow undertone. So as soon as I saw that one, I was like, okay, that is probably going to be one of the choices and I kept going. So the following one is classic tan and tan with pink undertone. So obviously it says it's already pink and yes, they're not joking. It does look like it has a hint of pink undertone. So that definitely wasn't it. And then I just tried one more and the one after that is camel and that's a medium light with olive undertone. I am not really an olive undertone um, person as you can see. I ended up deciding with the me, um, with the beige which is the medium beige with yellow undertone which is the one that I pretty much stuck with and I'm hoping that it does match me. I mean it really didn't have that many shades I feel like. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know but I feel like in my opinion I was like all right maybe but let's see how it turns out. It really does look very yellow so I'm hoping that it does blend nicely with me because I'm not like OD yellow, I don't think. I mean, I don't see myself as crazy yellow, but we shall see. All right, guys, so I'm going to read the details that it shows on the Ulta website, which is, it says it's lightweight, waterproof, and pigmented AF. NYX Professional Makeup's Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation Hustle As Hard As You Do. This comfy liquid formula comes in 45 flattering tones that don't transfer. Every creamy shade glides on smooth, delivering matte coverage and color that stays true for up to 24 hours. This little overachiever also works to control shine and mattify your complexion all day long, but it does not stop there. This foundation is non-comedogenic and suitable for normal oily combination and sensitive skin types. All right, well, it does um, say, it does recommend to prep your face for 24 hours of slay with NYX Professional Makeup's Can't Stop, Won't Stop Matte Primer, which obviously is sold separately. Um, I am not going to do that just because this is supposed to be very um, matte and I don't like feeling like my skin is going to crack. So I actually do the opposite. I do a hydrating primer and some, I add a pore minimizing primer to any matte foundation just to balance it off because I am dry and oily in some areas. So I like to try to keep a balance, you know what I mean? So the foundation does feel comfortable on me. Um, you can use whatever you want, but that is just how I usually do it just because I know how my skin is. I mean, pigmented is, yeah, we're not gonna say it. Pigmented AF, um, we shall see. Um, I don't know, it's not transferable. We shall see that too. I will use a tissue and see if that is a true claim. 
um, but I don't wear my foundation for 24 hours that's one thing I'm not going to be able to vouch for this foundation but we shall see so what I like to do is I like to go in with a facial spray just because again my face is dry and um, yeah so I like to spray this on my face first to add a little bit of extra hydration and that goes for pretty much any foundation it doesn't it's not just because this is matte I just do that anytime that I feel like my skin is a little dry and currently I'm on that time of the month and yeah my skin is feeling hella dry okay so starting off with primer I am going to use this one that I have been absolutely obsessed with this is the JCAT H2O fresh dewy base primer and I really love this primer if you guys haven't tried it I believe you can only get this online so that's the only like bad part about that but it's super hydrating on the skin on top of that I'm gonna go in with this NYX pore filling primer I just started using this um, and I don't hate it it's pretty good I like it it does what it's supposed to do and that's all I can ask for you know so I'm just applying it here on the nose area and a little bit on the cheek smile lines over here because that's where I have some pores that like to just like I don't know show up throughout the day and yeah so now we're going to move on to the star, which is this right here. Like I said, I picked up um, the shade beige and I am going to use this brush from Sigma. This is the brush that I have been using lately. This is the round Kabuki brush and this is the F82. I always look at this stuff like I don't remember, but yeah, this is it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add like one, two two pumps to start off with because I don't know what this is going to look like or feel like, how heavy it is, or I don't know. So, let's see. Wow. That's like super yellow. You see what I mean? I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like super duper yellow. I don't even feel like this is going to match me right now. Let's keep blending. Um, I think one more layer to get a full coverage would be good, but I mean, it did oxidize a little bit, but it's still, um, it still looks yellow to me. Yeah, it looks really yellow for me, but um, I don't know. So I'm going to go on and... Yeah, look, even my brush is yellow right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go back in and add two more pumps and add some on this side and this side because I didn't get much on this side. All right, you guys, so I finished blending in this foundation. It definitely feels matte, so I am happy that I put on a hydrating foundation, um, a hydrating primer does feel a little dry like I said um, especially on my nose which you know it is already like kind of separating on my nose I'm trying to blend out this right here but yeah I don't know I made sure to definitely drag it down my neck just to make sure everything matched and yeah but this is definitely a very yellow undertone based foundation but yeah so far I mean I don't hate it I just feel like I look super yellow but concealer bronzer is gonna fix all of that anyway it's not like my face is staying this way so yeah so I'll be right back I'm going to finish off my face and I will come back and let you know my thoughts all right guys so I'm back I finished off my face and I have to say that it does feel okay like it doesn't feel like I'm being dried out and sunk like 
like absorbed by this foundation it doesn't feel dry at all um, I feel like the combination of me using a hydrating primer with the matte foundation balances off everything um, I also use a pour uh, the nor the what was it the NYX pore filler um, I'm going to use the benefit professional next time and the only reason why I'm saying that is because I don't feel like my pores really are and truly filled in you can still see my pores and with this foundation since it is matte it is going to show a lot more of those pore areas so I feel like I really have to prep my skin and make sure that I prime really, really well. Just right here in the center. Um, everything else, like the forehead, over here on the cheek, like my, my sides and everything, it looks so good. Like over here, I don't have any dry patches whatsoever. I really do love like the perimeter of my face and even the highlight like everything looks so good it's just this area right here that i feel like it's not doing well with this foundation but again i'm just gonna have to prep and just do a really good um primer on this area right here so let me zoom you in real quick so i don't know if you can see let me grab this right here uh, any brush all right so right here in this area these are my pores it's also drying right here around my nose area right there but that's expected with a foundation it happens a lot for me with a matte foundation so that is expected I'm not really worried or concerned about that um, the only thing I am concerned about is this right here the tip of my nose as you can see when I set this foundation I literally just started seeing these spots on my nose and that's not something that I would want my foundation to look like throughout the day you know um, so I just have to make sure that I have to apply a really good primer especially for the pores and on my nose right here on the tip so here here and here you know but other than that you guys this foundation is like a one like no joke I really feel like this reminds me of the Maybelline Superstay full coverage foundation in a way I feel like that one it works a lot better on my nose area but it just gives me like the same finish if that makes sense you know um, I love that foundation that is always my go-to foundation and I really really love it um, this one the oh, that's the only thing that's really bothering me I'm going to try it out again um, because I mean I do not want like black dots on my nose I just don't I didn't want to re like retouch it or anything just so you guys can get like the hundred percent rawness of this foundation and how it ended up working on me but like I said everything else looks beautiful amazing and honestly it looks so flawless like it just looks really really good I love the fact the highlight my eyes everything um it just looks really really good at first I was kind of like oh my god it looks really yellow but like I said once you start applying everything onto the face it kind of just like makes everything look better together and I didn't have any problems bend bending blending a concealer applying bronzer bronzer was so easy um, I used a cream bronzer a powder bronzer to set everything and it just my brows my eyes everything was just perfect it I didn't have like any patchiness which is amazing I mean it it was perfect you guys like no joke that's the only concern that I have and I feel like if I use like the benefit professional it'll definitely solve the issue so I will definitely do that and let you know maybe in another video unless you guys want to see another video of me testing that out leave me a comment down below I will do that for you guys but other than that I really do feel like I am going to enjoy this foundation um and just to let you guys know when 
I sprayed this at the end of, of my look and everything, the mist did not, was just like sitting on top of the foundation. So this being waterproof, I really do feel like it may be waterproof, like no joke. Okay, so now I'm going to test if this really does transfer or not. So I'm going to take a clean white tissue and we're going to test it out. So here we go. So you're going to go over and kiss your man like I always do. He has a white tee. Hmm. Nothing there. Let's try it again. All right, just the slightest bit of transfer. And, I mean, that's not crazy bad, but, I mean, this side didn't transfer, which I find kind of strange, but, I don't know, maybe this side is still, I don't know. But, it's still, you're still going to be able to transfer some of this foundation onto, um, you know, your man or whatever, so, on your clothes, it's going to transfer no matter what. I still feel like that's very hard to manage on a foundation. I have yet to come across to a foundation that does claim it's transfer resistant. I feel like that, <clears throat> I feel like that's never, I'm, maybe I shouldn't say never, but it's still in the works, I feel like. I mean, I feel like all foundations are going to transfer no matter what, but the thing that definitely, definitely makes me feel like this is like waterproof is when I, like I said, when I sprayed this. So I'm going to spray it one more time just to see, to show you guys that it does just stay on top of the like foundation. So that's, you're going to see this. It just feels like it's not going to go anywhere because before I had to like literally grab like a tissue and pat it to remove it but honestly it's not like gonna absorb through the foundation so I like I said I really do feel like this is a waterproof foundation but I don't know I really don't know as you can see it's really I mean this would have been dry already but look look it's kind of like sliding off Oh my god that's so weird look it's kind of like sliding off my face that makes me feel like this is like the there's a barrier between the foundation and the actual water so it doesn't seep through so and me doing that like patting it with the tissue there is no transfer on it so no, you guys. Somebody hit me up down below. Leave me a comment if you've actually tried this in the water. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep an eye out on some YouTubers out there that may go like really hard and test out this foundation. I really love seeing things people do that. So um, yeah, but overall, you guys. This is a really good foundation for me. I really do like it. It doesn't feel extremely dry, so I love it. And I love the finish. So I hope I was able to help some of you guys out with some of the information on this foundation. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!